Good morning, Rashana. And I, you, you don't seem to be connected to audio. Hello. Good morning, hey, Rashana. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Norma. Good morning, Miss. How are you? I am good, Miss. Excellent. And Rashana, I'm not too sure that Rashana has a microphone on. Rashana, can you hear us? I'm gonna. Good morning, Grace. Hi, um, good evening. Huh? You're not Hi, Miss Rosario. Hi, Miss Rosario. Good morning. <laughs> good, good day, Miss Rosario. Uh, How are you? This good. is Miss Keisha. I know. Uh, Ms. Uh, is she getting some Miss. So. We came to visit Miss Miss Grace, but we had to go home back and the time called with us. So we all are just having a meeting right now. We're in our right. garden right so. now. <laughs> oh, we came for some plants. So oh, yeah. We just beautiful garden. <laughs> I can see Norma now. <laughs> okay, so it looks yeah, yes, so Prashana's stepped out again. I think she's gonna come in. Because she couldn't hear us, so her audio wasn't connected. Okay, well, good morning, everybody. It's great to have you here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm just keeping an eye on the on the participants to see if um, if somebody else is coming. So there was five of us for today that could do it today. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm recording this anyway, so I'll make the recording available for later. So it's 9.05, so let me start by asking you, uh, so how many of you, have you all logged into the course? And uh, did you have any trouble logging in? Yes, Ms. Rosario, I had some amount of trouble because this is my first time using this kind of platform so i had to be seeking help and gradually i was able to get through finally good and that's all part of the learning isn't it so good definitely good. all right okay so i'm going to actually i'm just going to ask my husband to get my phone because i have my phone my phone downstairs could you get my phone dennis um, just in case people are uh, on the group struggling to come in. Okay. Who called me? Do not try kissing me. I do not kiss them. I'm joining in with this phone. Oh, all right. Right. She was asking you. Okay, so Rashana is coming in. Oh, I think so I'm Rashana, on. Rashana is coming in. <laughs> oh, look at the dog. So pretty. <laughs> Love you. Play there. 
Okay. <laughs> Hi, Roshana. I see you have audio now. It's... Okay. I'm going to mute you all and I'm going to unmute Roshana, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just your brother. He wants you to call. I'll call him back. Hi, Rosario. Hi. Okay. Okay. So, Roshana, can you unmute yourself and just let's make sure that you can hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Good afternoon, everyone. Excellent. Much better, Perfect. right? <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. Good. All right, so it looks like we're all here. So thank you so much. I'm going to mute you all while I'm gonna do a little uh, tour of the course. I think all of you have been able to log into the course, right? Yeah, excellent. So I'm going to mute you. Oh, okay, everybody's muted except Norma. Norma, do you mind muting yourself? Do you know how to do that? At the top left, at the at the bottom left corner, there's a micro a microphone. If you click on that, you mute yourself. Excellent. You're awesome. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. So since all of you have been able to log in, I'm not going to go through the login process. And I'm just going to share my screen with the course, okay? And I'm just going to give you a brief, a couple of minutes overview, and then I'll open it up for you to ask me questions about things that you may not understand, okay, of how it's set up. So I'm going to start by sharing my screen now. Okay. And... There we go. So when you log in to the course, right? So this is where you end up. Sorry, let me. Um, so when you log in to the course, actually it's asking me to log in. So I'm logging in now. And after you log in, you should be able to land on the main page, right? So this is the main page for the course. And you can see, that on the left, on this area here, that's how you can you can take a look at each module. So if you click, if you click, say if you click on module three, it takes you to module three on the right panel, right? And then from here you can explore the resources, but we'll get to that later. So this is how you can access each module. There's five modules in the course. And then if you want to look at the participants, you can look at who is on the course by clicking on the participants, and then you will see a list of everybody who is in the, in the course. And then you can also send them emails or chat or, oh, I have to admit somebody else, okay? And, uh, and so you, from here, you can chat with your peers as well, and you can send them a direct email, okay? So I'm going to take us back to the getting started module. Um, and so as you see, now I have three in red posts in my uh, in the welcome and introductions. So this is how you see that in the announce. So th these little icons here mean that this is a discussion. So you'll see that there's things for you to read there as from your peers or from me or whomever posts to them, right? But let's start at the beginning. So these icons here, this means that these are resources for you to read. This is the course schedule that is in PDF format. So you can download it and uh, keep it on your computer or print it if you want to. And uh, I have a, a copy printed here because I like to follow it on, uh, uh, I, I always keep it next to my computer. But so if you, the first thing to explore the resources, all you have to do is click on the links. These are all links. And so you explore the resources by just clicking on them, okay? 
And uh, before I leave this page, I want to also take a look, show you that on here on the left, so on the rightmost panel, so there's the blog menu because next week you all going to be required to participate in a blogging activity. So this is the blog menu. So you can see that you can click and see the entries for the course. And then from here as well, you can also see the upcoming events. You see that welcome and introductions, the discussion form, because it has this icon, is due tomorrow at 11.59. So what this means is that the, the forum will close tomorrow night. Okay, so your deadline for posting will be tomorrow night. I can extend that if you'd like, so no problem at all. I was thinking of, I spoke to Grace and I was thinking of doing that anyway. And you'll see that these are, this is another discussion that is gonna be due on Saturday, the 21st of November. So this means that between now and the 21st, as you feel comfortable and as you read the resources, you should participate in this discussion, okay? So this is where all your deadlines are listed, okay? So that you know exactly when uh, the when your work is coming due, okay? And we're not very strict. I mean, this is not like school or anything, but if we could try to keep to that schedule, it will keep us all going at the same pace. So I'd really appreciate that. And if you can't keep to the schedule because you have a project, work, or you, you, you get sick, let's hope not, let me know, okay? Because then we can figure out um, uh, how to move some of these deadlines around, okay? All right, so if you have any questions so far, this is the navigation. So there's three pa panels, the left where you can see the modules and the participants, the middle where you can access the resources, you can scroll, scroll, and you can see all the resources and the right one where you could see your deadlines and you, where you could also access your the blog menu, okay? so. Any questions, unmute yourself and ask. No? Okay, I'll carry on. All right, so, so for this week, if you look at the course schedule, I'm just gonna look at the course schedule now. And uh, so this is, can, you, can everybody see the schedule? Can I get a, some nods or some thumbs up? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good. Excellent. So this is the schedule, the course schedule. So we're going to be together for 12 weeks online, which is, it seems like a long time, but once you start to work on all the little projects, it's, um, you know, you can, it's going to be busy, a busy time. Um, not difficult, but busy, I think. Uh, and so, and then I put over here, so for the weeks, this is the week. So in the first week, this is what we were supposed to do. So this week that is ending tomorrow, we should just go through all the getting started resources and participate in this discussion. You see that in weeks two and three, you're gonna have to participate in a blog activity. There's all these discussions for us to interact with each other. And there's gonna be a small assignment where you're going to develop a quality checklist, okay? Okay. Some, Grace, I think your microphone is on. It's like a child, I know the time. Imagine if you were a little careful for you to be a mom. Yes, one ask a question. No, okay. All right. Then I would want like Grace and Keisha. I think your microphone is on. <clears throat> Can you mute yourselves? Excellent. Thank you. All right. And so this is so the course schedule. And then you see that there's these three weeks where we're going to be doing uh, working through module three. And so again, there's a group activity. There's some discussions you have to participate on. And there's three assignments. These are small assignments, but there's still three of them. So you see that there's the due dates on the right here as well, just to help you guide your work. And then we're going to break over the holiday season. So I think, let me take a look at my calendar here. Between December 20th and January 2nd, I think we are breaking so that you can enjoy uh, the holidays and Christmas and New Year's and all that stuff. 
And then by the time we come back, we have four weeks that that's when you're going to do the bulk of the developing of your course. Okay. So this is up until Christmas, you're going to be doing a lot around the planning. And then you're going to start actually getting your hands dirty and creating the content for your course. Okay. And that is in the new year. And you see that there's a bunch of assignments. These assignments are here just to guide your work and make sure that we're all on track, okay? And this and the last two weeks then, it's going to be to talk about orienting our students after we have some content online and also sharing our online experiences. So then these last two weeks will be a little lighter, okay? So the, the heavy lifting in terms of the work is gonna be just before Christmas and then after Christmas, okay? All right, so I'm going to close this, go back to the course. All right, and so, so that was the course schedule. And so then he, from here, so you have to, this is, it gives you a brief orientation about how this course works. So it tells you uh, just briefly, uh, it goes over everything that I've just mentioned to you that there's five modules. It tells you that this course is going to be a, a, a kind of learning by doing type of course. Okay, so you're going to be learning. And as you're learning, you're also going to be actually doing the stuff. So you're going to, we're going to talk about quality, and you're going to create a quality checklist, we're going to talk about planning an online course, and you're actually going to develop a plan. So it's really good that way, because you can apply your learning right away. Okay, so I have put you in groups, because Grace uh, sent me um, a list of your names, and the teams who are going to be working together. So I have put you into those groups and the groups are the subject, uh, subject matter groups of so mathematics, English, Spanish, and so forth. Okay. So you should know um, uh, that you, if you know your subject matter, you should know who you're working with. If there's any confusion about who you're working with, let me know and I can clear, I can clear that uh, for you. Okay. So uh, this here, there's some suggestions about what you could do. And so every time you see a link, I encourage you to click on it and see. So this is the course schedule again. I'm not going to open it up. Uh, but uh, so th throughout the text, you will find some links. So click on it on them to see what's going on. OK, it also shows you about some of the activities that you're going to be doing and all of the discussions that you have to participate in. OK. So as you see, to navigate through the course, if you look at, uh, at the top here, there's what we call some breadcrumbs. So after you finish looking at this and you go, oh, I don't know where to go now, right? So there's several ways you can get out of this page. You can move to the next one right here, okay? You can go to the top, and click on module one, and it will put you into module one. And you can also click on the left and click on module one, okay? But what I'm going to do, because I think it's easiest, is once you finish reading, there's always a navigation at the bottom of the page. So click on the next one. And so the next one speaks about how we're going to assess your learning. Because at the end of this uh, course, you will get a certificate from the Commonwealth of Learning. So in order for you to get your certificate, you have to do all of those assignments, okay? So if you don't do all those assignments, mm -mm, no certificate. Uh, so uh, so that this is that's why it's so important that you keep that in mind. And it also, um, you're also required to participate in some of the group work and some of the web quests, okay? And as you see now at the end, I can go back to how this course works or I can go forward to the course schedule, okay? So I am going to, right now, because I know I don't wanna see the course schedule again, I am going to bring us back to module one, to the main page for module one, okay? And don't be afraid of clicking, just click at will, you know, you're not gonna break anything. Don't be afraid of the course, all right? Okay, so, 
Then from here, there is, you can create your learner profile. So if you see, so I have a little photo of me. And if you click on my name, uh, you can see my profile. And you can see that I put some information about myself and, uh, and there's some information, there's my email address, there's all these things. So you can create a profile as well for you so that your, your, um, so that your, your peers can, uh, by clicking on your name, they can learn a little bit more about, about yourselves, okay? So I'm, let me just get back into the course. All right, okay? So, and then, so these are the discussions. I'm just gonna go through because some of you have not um, used Moodle, although from what I see, you guys have all managed to log in. Uh, to the course and participate in some of the discussions. But so let me see, like in this one. So if you want to put your post, all you have to do, you will write, you, you read your instructions here and you just click on add a new discussion topic, okay? And once you click on add a new discussion topic, a little, another dialogue comes up. Let's see, my computer is running a little slow. There you go. And you can put your subject. This could be introduction, right? And then you could type in here whatever you want, okay? And then once you're happy with it, you can post to the forum because I don't wanna post this. I'm just gonna cancel, okay? So you can read your discussions. So if you, if you don't want to add a new discussion, you can read the discussions here and you see that there's markings. So here it tells me that I haven't read the one from Keisha, Carlota or Norma, but I've read Shondell's, Tiffany's, Rashana and Grace's. And the, you, need, you see that there's been some replies. So if I want to see, say for Rashana, I'm just going to click here and I'm going to read what Roshana had to say. And then I see that there's some responses. So myself have responded and Grace already responded. Okay. So to reply, right? So if, uh, if you wanted to also make a comment on Roshana's uh, uh, post, you just come in here. So these links and you click on reply and then you reply and you say, so my reply is that I'm just going to say, Rashana, I'm replying again, right? So, and I submit. And so you'll see that now my reply is here, okay? All right? Okay, so I don't wanna be going too, too fast. So any questions now about how to post to a discussion? No? Okay. All right. So I will continue then. And so to, um, uh, so for say this is, so this is the module, the module one just has a few resources you see by from the icons and it has these discussions, right? These discussions, announcements for the course, I'll post them here. Okay, so if you see, uh, I've I already uh, I posted as a few announcements about the Zoom orientation and the WhatsApp group, right? And then if I um, there's other discussions here. If you have any questions about the course, if you go, I'm stuck, I don't know what to do next, or I don't understand this assignment, can somebody help me? Either myself or our peers, your peers can post an answer to that, okay? So the Q&A is a forum for you to ask any question you may have about the course, okay? And there are no dumb questions. All questions are very good, okay? The more questions we ask, the better. Um, Moodle how-to tips and questions. As we go on in January, when you're gonna start working in Moodle, if you learn something, because we're always learning, right? If you learn something or you have a good tip, post it there and say, hey, I learned that to, to post a question, this is what I have to do, right? So share your knowledge with your peers, really, really important. And this social cafe is a place for you guys to just talk about stuff, you know? If something is happening on the weekend or if you did something fun on the weekend, if you want to share, share it in the social cafe. Okay, so those are the discussions. Now, 
for the more serious stuff, we go to the module two. And so every module will start with the learning outcomes. So it will tell you what the learning outcomes are. Gives you roughly what you're going to have to work on. So six hours a week, probably you're going to have to find six hours to each week to work on it. And then you'll see that there's this link. So this is a book. You see the book here? So when you click on here, this is where your content is. So you click on that and you'll see that now the navigation changes a little bit and you have these arrows. So this introduction always stays here. There's a navigation uh, panel on the right. So you can go through all these pages here, but you can also just go page by page and click on the arrow to continue. So you read this, and uh, you explore whatever links uh, are made available to you. And then you click on the next page. And then, and then you see that this now you can go back or you can go forward. So again, you do your studying from here. You go through the examples. There's instructions for a blogging activity. So you do your blogging, right? And then you uh, uh, once you're happy, you can continue, okay? So you can move through this book using these arrows and just reading through the content and just paying close attention to the activities that we're asking you to do, okay? Now, because I remember I said to you that you are going to be learning by doing. So we offer you templates for you to do your doing. So for example, in here, we offer you a blueprint for your course. And as you go through the activities, we give you instructions for how to fill in this blueprint. So what you need to do is you click on the link and it opens up uh, a, 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 a word. It brings up a word dialog box and you save this file to your computer so that you can edit it as you work through the modules, okay? So I'm gonna open the template and I think I'll have to, can you see my word? Um, can you see my word, my word file? No, yes or no, yes? No, okay, so hang on, let me just share again. I'll share, this is the, okay. So this, now you can see it, right? So this is, this is the course blueprint. So in Word, you save this file to your computer and then you're going to fill in this about your courses, okay? But as you work through the book, we give you instructions for when to do this, okay? So if you know that you're gonna do your, your course title is gonna be, I don't know, mathematics. So you highlight this and you go mathematics, right? And then a description, you know, you could say mathematics for grades eight and nine, covers, uh, fractions. I have no idea because I know nothing about mathematics, okay? So, but this is what you're going to be. Uh, so as we, you work through the book, we ask you, okay, take a stop, stop now and go fill this in, in your, in your course blueprint, okay? So when we refer to these uh, blueprints and templates, I'm gonna just close this now. I don't wanna save it. And I'm gonna share back my window back with you and the course. So, <clears throat> so when you, um, there we go. So when you uh, when you do your um, to access the templates, they're all available from the top here. Okay. So in the introduction to the module, there's always the template that you need to use. Does that make sense? This is a lot of information right now, right? <laughs> okay. So so this is the key thing: is to go through the course and just using the arrows to navigate. But if you are looking for something specific and you want to look at say quality framework, I wanna know what the criteria for best practices are, just click on the link and it takes you to that page on the book, okay? Okay, 
And so as you see, there's lots of resources, links that we put in. So, and then it tells you now go and participate in this discussion. And so when you click on the discussion, it takes you to the discussion forum, okay? All right, so I think this is it and I'm running out of time because I only had 30 minutes. So I'd like to open it up for questions now. I'm gonna stop sharing. And I'm gonna open it up for questions. Any questions from anybody? Hi, no? Rosario. I'm with Kita and Shanique, and they said no questions. Excellent. Yes. I think the important, I see Roshana is going like that as well. So the important thing is going is, is for you guys to explore the course and click on the links and just follow the instructions. And if you don't understand anything, post it in the Q&A, send me an email, post it in the detox group in, the, in WhatsApp. And um, among all of us, we will support each other and we will answer all the questions. Someone was trying to say something? No, Rosario, I was agreeing with you. Okay, so don't be shy about asking questions, please. And another thing, and I know that you're busy, I know you're working, I know you're teaching, but if you can, try to log in every day, even if it's just for like half an hour, to try to check what's going on in the discussion forums, right? Okay, and then work at work among your peers, okay? So, because you, you've been put in those groups. Actually, that's one thing. Let me just quickly go in here and share. Uh, because I'm a teacher, I'm not quite sure uh, about that. You may have a different view because I'm a teacher, you're a student, right? But you can see here, so, you know your groups here, right? Shonique is part of the social studies group and she's part of WebQuest group B. So, you know, Fanta is part of the WebQuest group B. So she's in the same group as Shonique, but she is in, but Fanta is in the human and social biology group for the subject. So let's say social studies, Shonique is going to be to find her partner her partner is Tessina, okay? So you can always go into the participant list and see who is a member of your group. And so then Tessina and uh, Shonique need to work together on the social studies piece, right? So they need to do the course blueprint. They need to work on creating the course plan. So it's a group work for the two of them, okay? So each one of you needs to know who your partners are so that you can work together on, on those projects. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. Well, I don't want, because I know you're busy, so, and we have six minutes uh, in this meeting, so I don't want to keep you here, because um, I know you, you have probably stuff to do, but, uh, but if you have any questions, you know, please don't hesitate to send me, a, you know, a quick email or, or on the group or even here in the Q&A, in the Q&A forum, okay? All right. So anybody has anything fun to do, gonna do on the weekend? Nobody's doing anything fun on the weekend? Oh, on the weekend. 
No, this I'm weekend we're this weekend we're sure. Somebody else is speaking. Yes, I was just I was just telling her that this weekend we're all preparing to ensure that we don't catch COVID next week when we go to school. Okay. So that is what I am doing this weekend. Ensure that I don't catch COVID next week. Right, right. Yeah. And Grace, you were saying something? Yes. Well, I might choose between gardening or maybe doing a little bit of art. Oh, and you have such a beautiful garden. Thank you, Rosario. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm my nephew and his wife and my other niece the three of them are coming from Victoria and they're going to come and spend the weekend with us. So we're going to be, um, we're having uh, the house full of young people. So that will be fun. Enjoy. It seems like Carla to join us now. Oh, Fanta. Okay. I see that Fanta is in as well, but we only, I only have three minutes. Let's say, let's see if we can say hi to Fanta. So I have recorded this meeting and I will post it to the course, okay? At least, you know, not for the chatter, but at least if you have any questions about how to um, navigate through the course, you could quickly go there. Hi Fanta, can you hear us? Fanta, you're muted. You on your microphone at the bottom left corner of your screen. If you unmute it there. Good afternoon. Oh, there you are. All right. So Fanta, we're, I was just saying we're just wrapping up because I had only allowed for 35 minutes or 40 minutes for this meeting. So we've covered how to use the course, how to navigate through the course. And we've covered some of the deadlines and the assignments and the recording is going to be posted to the course, okay? Yes. I had a bank transaction that took so long. I know, there's always some trouble, right? <laughs> but as we get more familiar with it, it's gonna be better, I promise. All right? Okay, so if-, uh, if Yes, yes, sorry oh, you. Go ahead. Yes, oh, I said this internet is breaking up from here. No, I said the internet is breaking up from here. I just changed location because we had school. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes, but it's, it's kind of noisy at the back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to have to wrap it up because we have a minute and 45 seconds left and it will, it will hang up automatically, okay? So I will post this into the course and you... And you guys have a fantastic weekend and stay healthy. You too. Same to you, Ms. Zaris. Mr. Thank Zaris. You. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. So I look forward to seeing you in the course. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. That's okay.